Hey everybody, Patrick Kelly coming at you here. I found a very interesting article in one of my uh, emails I get from being a pastor. I mean, you guys could get them too if you wanted. It doesn't matter. But it's the this fella here, Tom Rainer, man. He put out something on the Twitter the other day, and it, it's 25 really weird things said to pastors. Now, I've only been dealing with Twitter for, I don't know, a couple months now. And uh, I've had some strange, strange things said to me also, and find them funny, and you know. But uh, I'm, I'm going to do a few of these off of here for you guys and give you my take on them. And I uh, thought, well, after all the bad news, maybe we can have something funny and a little levity. Uh, praise God. So let me see if I can get this going with us. Okay, number one, it says, We need a small group for cat lovers. Well... I've got dash hounds. What about dog lovers? Or serve, like he said, serve meow, meow mix? <laughs> you need to change your voice. Yes, ma'am, I'll be doing it right now. Hello, this is Pastor Kelly coming at you. And please, oh, my, please, somebody shut the door on my closet. Oh, I'm sneaking out of the closet. Oh, I sound like one of them people that need to uh, go to the doctor. And, uh, well, we're not even going to talk about the guillotine, praise God. Uh, my wife's getting ready to throw something at me, so I better stop that. All right. Our coffee is attracting too many hipsters. <laughs> uh, as opposed to serving water only and attracting only naturalists. I mean, come on, people. <laughs> That's funny. Preachers who don't wear suits and ties aren't saved. It's in the Bible. I always love that. It's in the Bible. How, you know, people will come and tell you, you, you're supposed to wear your shoes on the wrong feet. It's in the Bible. They've seen it there. And that's when you bring out your King James and say, uh, show me, would you? But this fellow here, he says, yeah, he just knew Jesus and Paul wore a suit. Well, right now, I'm making this video sitting here in my bibbed overalls because I just done, done cutting a little bit of grass. <laughs> Amen. So by doing that, I guess, uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm the devil, right? Uh, your socks are distracting. I'm not even going to go to there on that one. Uh, <clears throat> you shouldn't make people leave the youth group after they graduate. Okay, where are they going to go? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't like the color of the tiles in the women's restroom. They should be pink with purple polka dots, maybe? I'm not sure. We need to start attracting more normal people at church. And I presume, as he said, people normal just like you, what is normal? Okay, this next one is really something else. Now, I use a King James Bible. Okay, I love my King James Bible. It's my mother's Bible. I wouldn't take a million dollars for that Bible. I use it online. I quote from it online. Now, will I read or look at another Bible? Yeah, I like the American Standard Bible, new version. It's pretty good. But I always go back to the King James Bible, and that's what I preach out of. Okay. But this person here said, I developed cancer because you don't preach from the KJV. Major announcement. New carcinogen discovered. Quick call, Big Pharma. I mean, come on, people. That's just hilarious. This is a thing people people think about here. Uh, your wife never compliments me about my hair or, or dress. Uh, I, I just don't even compliment on it. This one here I like. I think you are trying to preach caffeineism. Uh, what exactly is caffeineism? I need more coffee? I know I need another cup right now. If Jesus sang from the red hymnal, why can't we? Well... Because today they're singing from the blue hymnal, and uh, that's all that matters. <laughs> to, now, this one here gets me, it really gets grace my goat, and I'll go on about it and tell you about it why. To a pastor who was married interracially, you are living in sin. You shouldn't be married to each other. Folks, I'm here to tell you something. I'm a firm believer that uh, Moses was married to an, uh, uh, an Ethiopian. Uh, I'm uh, Half the apostles were probably people of color, and they were at least a, a Arab. Uh, th this is crazy. This is the one thing that I just do not go for. I mean, so what if you're white married a black, or you're, you're, you're Asian marrying, marrying a green, red, or blue? I don't care. I mean, that, that right there is just... Someone told me that, and I had a brick-and-mortar church. I would ask them to leave.
I honestly would ask them to leave. It's just like, we don't need that. Uh, okay, I digress. I don't think, let's get right here. I do not like the brand of donuts in the foyer. I want Dunkin' Donuts, buddy, and I don't like them Krispy Kremes because they're too crispy and they hurt my dentures. <laughs> Praise God. You don't wrap the hot dogs and bacon for the church picnic because that hot dog or the bacon is the devil. That's why, my golly. But, you know, I understand I like bacon, too, is what he said, too. You shouldn't drink water when you preach. Now, listen here. You know, he said at least simultaneously. And, yeah, I agree because, I mean, if I was sitting here telling you this and preaching preaching to you and drinking water, I would be, I would say, yeah, that wouldn't work out, I don't think. The TP, the wrong way, we're not going into that one. Uh, why don't you ever preach on Tim Tebow? Why would you? Okay, so what? He's a good feller. I give him that. He's, yeah, we'll leave it there. Uh, you don't have ashtrays in the fellowship hall. Really? Yeah, go figure that one. Never have that I know of. Uh... Yeah, this guy says they're right next to the spittoons for your bikey. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> come on, people. <clears throat> Do you ever, or excuse me, did you see me waving in the back of the worship center? You preached too long. It was time to eat, and what they left off there is probably I had to pee. <laughs> nope, didn't see you because I was looking the other way. The eggs were not scrambled enough at the senior center's breakfast. He told them to go jump up and down and shake them up. That's why he did it. That, that's just funny. But you go on down here, and the last but not least one is, uh, your sermon needed more calories. Well, you get the calories from the donuts, praise God. Go back and eat more donuts. I don't care if you don't like them. Listen, folks, I, I just thought I had to get this out here. I know it's a little bit of a long video from Pastor Kelly, but I, I got a big bang out of this. I'll leave links to it and uh, some several other things this man wrote. He has a really, he's really, really interesting to read. And if any of you folks that are watching this are pastors, uh, you'll, you'll, you will get a bang out of it because you've heard it. I've heard it, praise Jesus, uh, from the trolls and from the real people. I mean, now some of these questions are serious, which is what gets me. But anyhow, I'm going to jump on back out of here. And uh, God bless you one and all. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. We love you, but God loves you more. Pastor Kelly's out of here.